next record next record i'm excited about this song i'm excited about this song i'm excited about this song crayon crayon put out a snippet man that i've been like craving craving to hear the entire song and it's produced by SARS. and this is at a time when like obviously crayon being the lead vocalist on one of the biggest songs out this year overdose um off the maven crew he now has the opportunity to i guess piggyback off the momentum of that song and it comes out with a very very dope snippet produced by sars and i'm thinking this is this is the right move this is the right time to do this anyway um i remember hearing from the snippet what one song that i thought had he reminded me of but we'll get right into it we'll get right into it what's up just vibes how's it going um, but yeah, well, let's get into Ijo La Balava. Ah, I want to hear this song, man. Let's go. Crayon. Baby Debe. This intro took me back. We'll talk about it after, Sha. Open the fire, play the bed, do let them know. Oh my god, these keys are calm. Hey. Mm. Oh, as the cause are bring it up. Hey. Hey, 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 let's go. Hey, let's go. Super catchy. Su- what a bop, bro. What an absolute bop. Like, we're hearing a moment, man. We're hearing a moment for this kid. We're hearing a sound that is obviously, it's in that same vein of what's popping. I'm a piano is heavy. But, bro, the, how the chord starts, how the chord starts, man, those soft keys and the transition and they get, the, and they get you high and you're getting to the crowd vocals portion and you're just singing along. Like, the vibe is just there. The kid is excited. Like it's a very exciting feel. It feels very, it feel it feels very like celebratory in a sense. Cause I'm gonna dance away all my pains or something. Or saying something that just made you feel good. You know what I mean? It just makes you feel good. And I like that when the record makes you feel good, man. Yo, oh, no. uh? Yo shout out the classic, man. Big up. And I'm sure that hey. Okay, do we- hey. Listen, listen. I think Crayon has one, man. I think Crayon has a hit. I think he has a solo hit, bro. I think we have a solo hit at, at our hand right now, man. Like his his song is giving you instructions too in the in the song, like. I mean, get your hand, out, give me your hand, and show that like, and there's a dance to it. I think that's what he was doing in the video, bro. Like it's fi- bro. This record is gonna move. It's definitely gonna move. It's it's a challenging time for him, obviously, because Brenner just dropped, and right now everything is just scattered and spread out with Brenner. Hope he can actually break through that noise, break through that noise. See this record into your own project, man. I want to see that for him. But man, this feels like a very very well put together record. The shakers, the the keys, and like the the log drums too, very subtle. Everything is soft. It feels very, you know what I mean. Just feels like put together, and I love that for SARS, right? Obviously, like it's gonna be that one, and obviously, like SARS is gonna bag another hit. Like it's it's just it's just it's too easy for that guy, man. It's too easy. Hey, just let the beat go. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, 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 hey. hey. This part, this part right here is what took me back to the 2006 record. 
That portion right there took me back to early, early the band. No Long Tin album. There's a song there, and obviously this is Don Jazzy, produced by Don Jazzy. And I'm trying to find that. Please tell me that album is here. Is it here? It's on Apple Music though, but I don't know if it's here. But anyway, ah, oh, please tell me it's here. Please tell me it's here. Fuck, it's not. I'll go to YouTube. But basically, there's a Don Jazzy produced record, and this is funny because I'm thinking about it like, like in terms of, like, okay, kwata kwata or or. Like it's a debate. It's a debate to who is a who is a I guess a greater producer, SARS or Don Jazzy. Right? And we had our entire debate on the on this topic on Clubhouse and um there's a particular not to take away from obviously Crayon's moment. Um I'm just thinking about how I'm tying this particular song to um Don Jazzy's production, basically. Um, because it's a song he called it Kaoda that this remind, reminded me of and it's on the it's on the it's on the No Long Tin album you guys can you guys can hear the arrangement of the drums right it, this that reminded me that reminded me of like this intro um from from um from crayon um Ijo like and even the outro too and I love how they arranged it like the same intro kind of saw us out it's the same like it just reminded me of it it's not exactly the same but I'm just saying like Don Jazzy and SARS I don't know man like the influence is shy around there maybe it's not intentional obviously I don't think it's I think this was coincidental I don't think it was like oh let me take it back to that but I think it was a very very nice touch or at least to show the the levels at which this producers um kind of kind of aspire to greatness man but anyway that was a fantastic record from crayon like the arrangement is so good it has a dance to it it's only going to move upwards from here man and it's a good time for him to be out here man because he's just following a, a huge hit with overdose and now he's gonna have one of his own it's the same way it happened for ricardo when he did Dorobuchi because he was the lead vocalist on Dorobuchi as well and then he followed that with his own hits after that like what song did he even follow that was that with Catapult and Isha, Isha had a run Isha had a run after after um, Dorobuchi but anyway I hope I hope it, it's a massive one for Crayon because the guy's definitely talented man but anyway you guys are 93% up on this one Ijo la ba la ba ah it's so catchy bro it's so catchy so catchy, I love this song man. Crayon, let's go.